yo, 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 big kiss back up in here. The deleted channel, aka the villain, or the villain, aka the deleted channel, he got him another one, y'all. He got another victim. He just destroyed Drake, y'all. He destroyed Drake. Y'all know I don't like holding y'all. I will leave a link in the description, boy. We about to watch it. We about to get into this, man. Because ain't no way Drake need to be dressing up like this like he do. Like he just ready to play double dutch. Like, yo, you, you want to be a Spice Girl real bad, bro. And I'm, I'm happy somebody is let, letting him know, like, bro, this is not cool. You know what I'm saying? We about to get into it. You know what I'm saying? Listen, y'all know I don't like holding y'all. Without further ado, let's get, get, get it. Get into this video. I need to do some damage control. No, this video is not the truth. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Please don't take what I say in this video seriously. This is all opinionated, just opinion. This isn't facts. It may be even a little fiction. Don't need to send a cease or desist letter this way. <laughs> don't get mad or get your panties in a bunch. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't send no cease and desist. Hey, Drake, we just joking. Drake, you know you're my cousin. I be telling people that they don't, they don't be believing me, Drake. You know you're my cousin. You know, don't send none of that stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Though, and um, yeah. Drake over here posted up like a girl again. Get him. Knockers in his head and <laughs> Get him. Nails done, hair done, everything did. I guess that was his inner girl anthem. Nails done, hair done, everything did that. Nails done, hair done, everything. Oh my no. Not the BAPS picture. What's that? What's that movie? BAPS or boops or whoop? What is it? I forgot. Dang. I can tell that he pops his neck, smacks his lips when he's over there gossiping to Chubbs. Wait a minute. Imagine you looking like this, calling another grown man Chubbs. That's diabolical. It explains this pic right here. Ew. He ready to blow in his ear. Nasty work, boy. Nasty. A bunch of thuggalicious men. The so and he got eyeliner on his eyes. He got eyeliner on his eyes. He's a Vogue killer. No, he, he's, he's a Vogue guy. Look at him. Softest hip hop picture I've ever seen in my life. Why do they all look like they're about to cry? Boy band vibes. I feel like they're about to bust out and start singing. How do y'all expect me to take you seriously when your boss has eyeliner on? Y'all really gonna sit here and act like Drake won't cry and have venom nuts smeared down his face? And you want me to take this pic seriously? Stop it. And is that Hello Kitty on your phone, bruh? Bruh. Why is Hello Kitty on your phone case? Everything had to be extra feminine, didn't it? For what? Even the phone did a hair flip. Yup, I'm bullying in the phone too. It's up for everybody. <laughs> Ever since Brug grew some inches in his hair, he wanted to be a part of the women. He used to sing to women, and now he became a real life female rapper. But for real though, what happened to Drake, man? Growing up, we used to mock his soft ass, his sensitive simp side. We used to all clown and say, hey, don't drink and Drake. You know, a spin to the saying, don't drink and drive. Uh -huh. But we changed the meaning to don't drink and text your ex or don't drink and drake is wild work for your women like drake would we made fun of his softness he had for women but we actually really enjoyed his music back then he had a way to express how we really felt after a heartbreak or how we feel when we want to pick up the phone and check on our old fling or maybe what it was like when we were rejected by the baddie we all wanted although drake would be a little extra than most men with expressing his emotions to women all of us men had a little drake in us at some point in our lives hey hey pause 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 not like that what I'm saying is we all been there where we wanted to hit up an ex or maybe felt sad over that one baddie who got away. Yeah, we took jabs at Drake because it was a friendly sig fest or roast session, depending on where you're from. We we call it sigging from where I'm from. But anyway, Drake never been for real zesty zesty. He was always just salt. So what happened? What, what changed? I don't for real get pulled into this whole clone conspiracies about celebrities, but this is for real giving clone vibes. Bro doesn't even look like Drake anymore. Tilted Bro. Home, body double. High. Until I see this Drake right here talk, that's not Drake. That bone structure and with them eyebrows, his eyebrows naturally look like this. Like them joints go up. But when they like, they like, like this, like he mean, I got to see this, this person right here talk. Until I see him talk, he's a body double, clone. And that's, it's here way longer, bro. 
Unless he got one of them caps on like Tisa Tail said. Seeing his neck and poking his lips out like he's Zoolander. Bro, what are you doing for real? The Azempic must also be a testosterone tranquilizer or something. Mm -hmm. Cause what in the actual fuck? What concerns me the most is that he continues to present himself as a gangster with a tough demeanor in his music. Yet his look appearance eyebrows resembles there. that of a teen check it out. himself as a gangster. Hold on. With a tough demeanor. Look his eyebrows right here, y'all. Look at his eyebrows. Check it out. I know that it's a black and white picture and it's dark right here. Look past that. I want y'all to see how, look how low it is. Look how low. Right? Now watch this. Peter in his music. Yeah, his appearance. That ain't him, bro. Not him, bro. I'm telling you. This guy right here is a double. I'm telling you. That's a double that look like him. I, it, this might be the dude. Y'all remember that picture where he had all that white stuff on his face? know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that picture when he was, yeah, yeah. Appearance resembles that of a teenage girl. Better yet, a teenage stud named Mookie. It just doesn't go. <laughs> Mitch matching ass. Because Snoop Dogg and Nipsey Hussle have both worn their hair just like this before. Even old school pimps wear their hair like this. And sometimes they press it and style it. It's just how he presents it, I guess. Hey, Drake, don't you know what the duck lips even implies? And you sitting here popping the lips right out your face. Dude can write when he wants to. He's written songs for other people and made his own hits as well at one point of his career. He's written for the likes of Alicia Keys, Beyonce, Jamie Foxx, Kanye West, Rihanna, Rita Ora, and the list goes on. However, that didn't change the fact that he would then... Nah, I think they paid his ghostwriters to write for him. <laughs> I ain't giving Drake that credit. <laughs> I ain't giving him, he ain't write that. Didn't take the biggest L to Kendrick Lamar in the Civil War this year, but he stood on all 10 unlike J. Cole's scary ass. And I seen some of y'all saying in the comments that Drake didn't take his L like a man. Whether he was bitter about it and threw some jabs after, he still did take his L as a man because he accepted the challenge to begin with. He didn't run from a fade. People get their ass beat all the time in the real world and then go on to claim they won the fight when everyone knew they really got their ass dragged. It's no different. He took his L. And I respect bro for going to war in the first place. But man, I just don't get I ain't gonna lie, bro. Watching it, this joint make me want to learn how to play video games, bro. I ain't lying. I never been the type that knew how to play video games. I, I never like, I, this joint make me want to play them like for real. The newfound bitch in him. Drake, what's going on? Blink, my nigga, are you in trouble? I'm starting mm -hmm. to think this might be some sort of humiliation ritual. Maybe because of his lifelong contract with Lucian Grange for the power he oh. now has of other people's music was the exchange of his own. I never thought of that. The, humi the humiliation rituals is this real thing. That's a real thing. He got a point right there. Like, yo, what if they putting barrettes on him and all of that? Be like, yo, you. We need some shock value from you, bro. We need some shock value from you. We need to we need to act like paparazzi just took a picture of you painting your toenails at the beauty salon stores. We need something from you. We need some shock value. Cause you ain't selling, bro. So manhood. Now I'm not gonna say I believe this take, but shit, it's not something I wouldn't pass by him or anyone else. What are you willing to do for fame and for money, my nigga? I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna look like a Powerpuff girl. I can tell you that. I don't. Oh, Buttercup looking at him. Maybe this is his <laughs> midlife crisis people talk about. He's trying to find himself before 40. Hey, do you, bruh. That's your business. You're rich as fuck. If you're bored, just say that then. Doing anything to make your life more exciting. I feel like I'm watching that episode of Sex in the City with Carrie Bradshaw's ass trying to uplift herself after a heartbreak. What's next for Drake, man? When is this new album coming? I know he has that new album with Party Next Door on the way. A lot of people are excited for that. I wonder what it will sound like. Rumor has it that it might drop on his birthday, October 24th. But there's also a rumor that the Boogeyman might also drop on October 24th. Everyone's saying that's how Kendrick's gonna keep trolling and keeping his foot on Drake's neck. He's gonna drop the album on his birthday. If he does that that's so crazy. That's on some real villain shit. Real that demon time shit. If Kendrick does some shit like that, that's gonna be funny as hell. I ain't gonna hold. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna get off topic real quick. If both Kendrick Lamar and Drake end up dropping new albums, which one are you listening to first? Kendrick's next album is crucial. It will show whose music captures the most attention and drives the highest sales, offering insight into who holds the audience's interest. Beyond numbers, this release will determine if Kendrick 
Kendrick can maintain the momentum and position he's carved out in the industry. While he's already secured major victories this year, some speculate that he might not be able to keep his dominant spot. This album will be the real test of whether Kendrick has truly won over the audience for the long run. Yeah, he won the war, but did he secure the people? I'm gonna be honest, this is my take, and y'all might not agree, but Kendrick needs to come out like old Kendrick, Rigor Mortis, Mad City, All Right, Humble, Look Out for Detox, even the Range Brothers and Family Ties, or his albums like Damn and Good Kid, Mad City. And even though Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers was an album that needed to age to be appreciated, this album seems to have shifted the public's perception of Kendrick, casting him as a saint and creating expectations for him to always behave accordingly. However, his career has consistently centered around the internal struggle between righteousness and embracing darker, more complex aspects of his identity. He needs to remind the people who the fuck he is and what the hell he's about. People listen to Drake. He's saying get back to his essence because that that's how the natural body act. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, we want to do good for a bit. And then that 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 old you start to come out. You know what I mean? That's the same thing with the audience and how music works. We want to hear some conscious stuff from you. But then it's the other side to us too. Like, yo, I'm ready. You, I'm ready for you to do, 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 do. I'm ready. I'm ready to hear some of that. You know what I mean? But you gotta, you gotta gauge it. You gotta bounce back and forth. So I definitely get what he's saying right there because people like the way he sounds instead of actually listening to the lyrics. And these same people call Kendrick's music boring because of his last project. Kendrick needs to find a balance that appeals to a broader audience, even though not like us. And that's why the conscious part got us so good. Like, you know what I mean? Because Drake been giving us that, 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 that young, that young shit. You know what I mean? The, that, that little boy young shit. Like, like, yo, I do this. I do. With the hype beat and all that. So Kendra just come on some calm shit like, nah, you 37 though. Like you you showing up as a seven year old. Yo, where your daughter at? Yeah, yeah, she in the closet. Go get her out. Yo, mommy, yo, get, get up out of that closet right there. What you doing over there? Yo, 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 I see what you doing. Like, nah, he, he giving us that cotton because we've been messing with this party stuff so much. So it's like, damn, you got to feed the spirit too. We've been just eat, you know what I mean? We've been nibbling off the flesh, the flesh, the flesh. Nah, your your spirit is it need to be fed as well. So yeah, yeah, it's a it's a balance, especially when you're dealing with hip hop. This was more of a parody song to shut the gobblers up when they were saying that he made boring tunes and he had to let them know I could I could make ass shaking music too and I'll still kill your savior. He would need to figure out how he could deliver the melodic elements that resonate with the Drake gobbler. But in real life. When you dealing with that, that bouncing back and forth, the Bible call that being lukewarm. You ain't hot, you ain't cold, you in the middle. Like, you know what I mean? God wants you to be righteous all together. That, you know what I'm saying? He don't want you to be dibbling and dabbling, but it's hard. It be hard. I know. Y'all, y'all, y'all stick with me. We're gonna we gonna pull through this thing together. All right. Let's get it. While also staying true to the style that his longtime fans have come to appreciate. It can't be all the way conscious though. Not like Mr. Morrell or Section 80. Even if his core fans want this, it can't. It needs to have balance, like Overly Dedicated or The Damn Album. So this will be interesting. Don't forget Academics, Maul, Aiden Ross, all of them. They are all Drake meat munchers and are here to push a narrative against <laughs> Kendrick munchers. for Drake because their fan base are easily manipulated. And I honestly don't think they're on payroll. They're just male groupies. I feel like Drake puts a good word in for them to get these sponsorship deals, but that's where it stops. I wouldn't uh. even give them that type of clout of actually being on payroll. They're never invited to Drake's outings or even his events, which lets me know they aren't a part of his team. They don't get free concert tickets. I don't never see him pull them on stage or takes pictures with these guys. And we all know how Drake is obsessed with his friends. They're just pawns 
for Drake. He's using them. So the bot allegations will be in discussion again, obviously, but Kendrick's not going to need the bots because everyone is waiting for this drop. I also peeped that Tyler, the creator, passed on the October 24th weekend date. Most albums are known to drop on a Friday. Tyler publicly announced he's coming out on the 28th, which would be a Monday, to let whoever know that wants to drop Thursday the 24th or Friday that it's open for them to get their sales in. I'm going to be honest with you. I predict that KDOT will drop on the 24th or sometime that weekend. SZA even recently posted on her story about Kendrick dropping as well as Schoolboy Q. And I'm pretty sure this will be the I del Hey, villain, let's see if you're right. Hey, you might be right. Let's, let's, hey, we got a couple days. What's today? Today is, today is the 18th. 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25. So we got seven more days. Seven more days. Now I said the 24th. What I say the 20, what do you say? The 24th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, six more days, y'all. We got six more days. The way Kendrick keeps trolling Drake. Or I could just be wrong, and if so, fuck it. I thought that would be hilarious. Everyone is saying that this was a 20v1 battle, but was it? Yeah, Kendrick had all the rappers on his side, but Drake had the media and has had every big media streamer or rap commentator on his side spinning narratives and feeding the people the lies he wanted them to digest. Man, he even had fucking Uma Thurman asking bruh if he needed the Kill Bill outfit in Katana. The average white woman is going going to see Uma fucking Thurman's co-sign and think Drake won the battle. It's easy brainwashing. Let's be for real. Was it really 20v1? Cause I would call the shit a 50-50 split. Nigga, you ain't Jim Jones. Take them damn bollies out oh. your hair. You look silly. <laughs> this nigga for real thinks he's giving pimp or sugar free or drew down when he's really Uzi Vert mixed with Cleo from Set It Off. Now fuck that. Actually Cleo harder than- Hey yo, I used to have a crush on Queen Latifah in, in that movie. I don't know why. But yeah, he do look like Jim Jones when he did that um we certified gangsters. Y'all look up that certified gangsters uh when Jim Jones was with uh the game out there uh Cali. Y'all look that up than that nigga. Cleo went down like a thug. He too soft to be Cleo. And J. Cole is TT scary ass running away. Don't want no smoke, but want to be recognized that he was mentioned. I do wonder what Drake's album will sound like. Hopefully he can redeem himself, but I doubt it if he's still dressing like a teenage tomboy. I have yet to see the man you need to Hold evolve, up. Drake. Is that a one piece? I know there ain't no onesie. Yo, that's a onesie? Stop playing, yo. Yo. Son, that better not be no onesie. That's a onesie? Yo. Yo, he think he Michael Myers. Yo. Your man got on a onesie, son. Word is bond. Yo, he got on a onesie. Bruh think he Michael Myers, bruh. Yeah, we got to get him up out of here. This champagne shit ain't working no more, man. Where is Bond? Boy, I have yet to see the man. You need to evolve, yeah. Drake. Show some type of growth. Your music hasn't here, evolved this entire time. Mentally, that is. For you to excel at storytelling in real life situations back then about experiences with women, you would think you would be able to do the same shit today, but in a grown man's perspective instead of the same 20-year-old mindset. And then people wonder why he runs the numbers of streams. Because in a way, this dude is smart. People my age listen to his old shit shit for nostalgia and people that are teens listen to him today because they can relate to his teenage perspective. He literally takes control of the airwaves being able to make songs to feed every age bracket. But now he's slowly declining in numbers because after the Civil War, most of the adults that grew with Drake's music moved on from his same old song. So now he's finally seeing a slight decrease in numbers because he's only feeding the- Hey yo, I will leave a link in the description. I don't like going over this whole video because i want y'all to i want to encourage y'all to go watch it for yourselves as well y'all go watch it for yourselves uh the deleted channel the villain y'all subscribe as well he be dropping that fire and he's growing let's help him grow more you know what i mean so y'all please go over there and like comment
subscribe to him and I will leave a link in the description. Y'all let me know how y'all think of what y'all think about him cooking. Cooking. He knows how to cook. He be cooking. But yeah, Big Kish signing out. I'm gone, man. Drake too oily, man. Gotta get him up out of here.